Hey guys, it's KMN16. I'm doing an unboxing video of the new Jammin SCRT10. It cost me $247 at my local hobby shop. Um, it's a 110 scale four wheel drive short course truck from Jammin. So let me just open the box and we'll go from there. Okay. Take the bow wrap off. I did do some. I did do everything that they called for as far as um, putting it together. I did cut out the body. Um, I put in my servo. I installed the steering linkages. Um. I glued the wheels to the rims and screwed on the B-lock um, outer rings to the wheel. They're not real B-locks because if you guys complain about them being fake, you're stupid. Because if you see right on the side of the box, it says B-lock simulator wheels, which means it's just telling you that they're they're not real on the box, so don't expect them to be real. That's uh, some some problems I've been I've been seeing that people have. That's a it's a decent body, a little flimsy though, but um should take a beating for a while until I change it out. Um, it looks like a SC10 body a little bit, but for jamming only, jam makes a better body. So and you do have to cut this rear section out where where my fingers are as well to clear the back bumper. So, if you have any problems with that, just cut out the, the back section of the body because in the manual, or just without the manual, it looks self-explanatory, but um, in the manual it does clarify that you need to cut the body. Um, here's a truck right here, though. It's all black chassis. I already did install the wheels. They look like V-locks, but they're not, so these probably just be for show or something. I'm just gonna um, pick up some caliber tires. Oh, and another thing: if you don't like the tires, don't expect to use Berlin calibers because these rims are too small, so they will not fit on these rims. So, um, what, what I'm gonna buy for like a lighter wheel, I'm I'm not gonna buy the um, calibers pre-mounted on split six rims because they're too heavy. Um, but I am gonna get the J Concepts R Rolex rims and put the caliber M3s on from there because those rims are, are the lightest on the market and they're the two wheel drive rears for the slash 4x4 that go on here that well, I will put on anyway other than that you have to install the front bumper um, with the two screws right there and right there this just slides off um, other than that though only, I like it that it does have the rear skid plate right there. That should um, prolong the life of the chassis for a little bit. It does have a thick plastic spur gear, as you can see, really thick, so it shouldn't strip out too easy. And one thing I don't like about the truck is the chassis can be converted to nitro. Um, I bought it for the simple reason that it was electric, not because it could be converted. But I'm just gonna cover this up with some some film or something, so the chassis doesn't get all scratched up. So that won't really bother me too much. Um, and the truck, I'm using a Hobbyco, see if I can see it, CS170 servo in there. It's the same as the 7955TG. It's um, 333 ounces of torque with 0 0.15 speed. Um, here's the receiver box. Here's your, your, your transponder mount right there. Here's your antenna mount too right here. And here's your ESC mount. This battery box only takes a two cell LiPo hard case or soft case. So don't plan on buying a three cell for it because it probably won't fit. Uh, other than that though, um, it's a great truck. I should be racing it soon. Um,
Um, so, I mean, it looks durable. The front and rear bumpers look super durable. Often it looks a little flimsy. People are saying bad things about the shock towers. I'm only going to upgrade the front shock tower and the front upper arm mount, which is right. This piece, the little mount piece right here, and this the front shock tower and metal I'll be buying. That's the only hop ups I'll be doing for right now. On to the other stuff. I look, the box looks empty, but there's more stuff underneath. Um, you got your manual showing all the new cars, all their hop ups, their tires, truggies, buggies. On Thursday, hopefully, you guys will be seeing. Uh, where's it at? I'm getting a Hyper 9E for my buddy, that car, A scale electric. On Thursday, Use, but I'm getting it for like 250, so I'm not complaining. They cost around 400. So, if you want to order any parts out of this catalog, just simply get the part number to your hobby shop and order it. Here's the manual um, showing all the exploded views, all the part numbers as such, um, everything, shock setup. You're, you also have, have a setup sheet in the back, right there. You could have a setup sheet so. If you go track and forget your setup, you always look through here. I think on the second to last page, they show you all the hop ups for the truck. Here's the pinion gears. Um, here's the upper arm holder that I'm getting, along with the front shock tower and the rear CBDs I'm buying. Um, and then the next one is off the technical support page. Right here, keep this. If you have any. Um, faulty parts on your brand new truck you fill this out take off the, the part that's faulty send it to them and they'll send it to you for free with a brand new part it's like three pages long so um, I think the, the front side is just a serious page um, those, those stickers from Hobby Town don't come with this I just got them for my job um, look through here Stickers from Hobby Town. This this is actually your, your your window mask right here. It's it's hard to tell where the windows and the windshield are at on here, but um you'll you should find them. They have the intense tube in here. It's not that long because you don't need it because you'll probably use 2.4 anyway. Most people will. The, um, some office stickers in here. You really can't see it because the mask is in the way. Um, here's all the stickers for the truck or the body. I won't be using all these because I don't like too much stickers. My body will be painted black in one sec in the rear section, and then white on the rear fenders, at the top, and everywhere else. Um, so approach, um, some numbers, jamming stickers, SCR10 stickers, um, decals from companies. Says King Off-Road Racing Shocks, Gibson Performance Exhaust, Racer X. Here's little um, fans that go on the back of the on the back of the truck. Here's your screen for the windows, um, stickers, the, the front grill, your your windshield, the rear um, windows, along with the the headlights, tail lights, and just some more decals. But um, other than that, that's about it. You should see this truck soon. I'm getting a Mav Max Pro ESC for it with a um, Thunder Power 40 or 50C or a Power Ridge 50C 2S coming out. 5,000. Um, I probably run some some Turnergy 2S lipos that are 20C to 30C burst. They only cost like 30 bucks. If you go to HobbyKing.com, um, and then I'll, I'll also be using um, my transponder, which I'll be mounting on the plate, my Spectrum receiver, and my Novak. Um, ballistic 550 4.5 turn so stay tuned and be sure to see the other videos of this and just to see all my other videos please subscribe and see it